The rotary evaporator, Rotovap for short, is an apparatus used to remove the solvent component from a solution. There are three major parts to a Rotovap setup, the rotary apparatus, vacuum source, and cooling source. In essence, the point is to reduce the vapor pressure above the solution so that the solvent enters the vapor phase. The solution is in a round bottom flask attached to a bump flask secured by a cat clip. The purpose of the bump flask is to trap solutions that bump so that it doesn't enter the rotary unit. The flask is continually rotated and heated to speed up the solvent removal. A vacuum is generated in the system by either a vacuum pump or venturi pump. The solvent goes into the vapor phase and it comes in contact with a cold condenser, chilled by a cooling unit. The liquid then collects in the receiving flask. To get started, make sure the chiller unit is on and is set at a temperature of between 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. Turn the bath control unit on and then set the temperature to between 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. Some solvents may require higher settings. Turn the air inlet stop clock so that the air inlet is closed, that is perpendicular to the air inlet. Check the receiving flask for solvent. Empty if it's over a quarter full or if a lower boiling solvent is in there compared to what's being removed. Before attaching a round bottom flask, make sure the male ground glass joint is clean. If it isn't, clean it. Attach the flask and then secure it with a cat clip. Do not leave the round bottom flask connected without the cat clip securing the connection. Start the flask rotation. Turn on the vacuum, ensuring that there's a minimum vacuum of about 4 to 500 millimeters of mercury or millibars. Lower the flask into the heating bath by gently pushing down and sliding the lever. Be careful not to make glass on bath contact. You might need to add more reverse osmosis water so that there's better contact between the bath and flask. You'll notice that if the setup is working, solvent will start to collect on the condenser and then drip into the receiving flask. When you're finished with the Rotovap, that is when all the solvents removed from your solution, the process to remove your flask is more or less the reverse order of how you got started. Start by stopping the flask from rotating. Raising the flask by gently pressing down on the lifting mechanism and then sliding the lever. Turn off the vacuum. You'll notice that even though the vacuum has been turned off, the vacuum is held. Open the air inlet to break the vacuum in the system. Carefully remove the cat clip and then the round bottom flask. Do not drop the flask. If there's no one using the Rotovap unit after you, please turn off the heating bath and the chiller. 